Hey guys, welcome back to Titan Shield Gaming. This is the 20th episode of the ARK PvP Building Tips series, and we're going to be doing Vault Dropping. A lot of you guys have been asking me, and here we go. I'm going to explain it. It's going to be super simple, and we're going to be fortifying those small bases and large bases. So stay tuned, and we'll start it right after this. Well guys, it's fantastic being back in this series. It's been a while, I understand, but as I learn new things, I'm going to perfect them or at least get a good grasp on the concept and then bring them back to you guys so that you guys can figure it out and you guys can defend extremely well on your servers. Now, you may be asking, Titan Shield, you sound oddly different. Well, I've been awfully sick the last couple of days so i haven't been able to post anything but i have been working on this for you guys so i'm going to be posting it right now hopefully you're watching it share it with your friends on facebook share it with your friends on riddick but if you do anything guys drop a comment down below let me know what you think of it as well as hit the like button if you like this video a lot of you've been asking me how to do this and i gotta tell you it's a little tricky when you first start it but once you get the idea behind it it is a very easy method of doing vault dropping and it's also excruciatingly painful for your enemies to try to get through so that's really good i hope it helps you guys defend your base extremely well and i hope it helps you guys be the big dogs on your server so we're going to get into this i'm just going to be building this little base up as an example of what you can do this base is going to be excruciatingly small it is practically going to be a two by two by the end of it but i have actually built this specific designed base on a server which took quite a long time for someone to rate it so i was very proud of myself so what we're going to be doing is i'm going to skip through this relatively fast i'm going to put up the turrets i'm going to put up the generator i'm going to put up all the wiring for you guys so that you can have an idea of what a base would be and then we're gonna start on the juicy stuff. This is the stuff you come here to see. This is the stuff hopefully you're gonna be damn impressed by. And I thank Art Angler for it because he brought this amazing idea to me and I've had the pleasure of being able to put this out there for you guys to see. And I'm sure he's gonna be like, that was a horrible drop, Titan. But you know what? <laughs> it was okay, don't worry, you'll do better. <laughs> but obviously, I'm new at this myself. I've only really known how to vault drop within the last two months, so I'm hoping you guys will learn, and I'm hoping you guys will exceed my style, or my ability to drop, so here we go. Once you have everything set up and you want to drop your vaults, you want to make sure you have absolutely no ceilings interrupting the drop. So just above that, I would highly suggest you just put a pillar up, fat ceilings all along the edge of your base, or the area that you want to block off and then just simply cover it in thatch. Now, there's going to be a little trick to this that you guys want to do, is you want to do multiple ceiling stacking, and that, what it does, is it gives you a little bit of oops kind of zone. So if you kind of goof it up a little bit, and you drop the vaults the wrong way a little bit, and what happens is they'll f you can get rid of one layer and drop it down in the next, and then just flush everything out. So I kind of put up about three to four layers of this because sometimes the, the vaults go a little glitchy because it is an excessively glitchy game, but um, they go a little glitchy and sometimes they fall through thatch ceilings. So make sure you get that set up properly, guys. This is gonna help you out in the long run. Even if you are perfect at this, you're still gonna wanna try it out because it will be there as kind of a safety net. So once you get this all up, we're gonna start working on the vaults. Now the vaults here are exceptionally iffy and that is going to be the biggest issue I think you guys are going to have. Now before you ever consider placing a vault, please, please, please make sure you absolutely align it up because once you place this vault, that is a lot of materials you're throwing out the door. Even on a high rate server, there's quite a bit of materials. So, Please be careful, make sure you get it straight, make sure you get it flush, and make sure you get it in the right place because once you drop this, you're gonna have to tear it down if it doesn't work properly. So I gotta 
Say it again, guys. Just be absolutely certain. And once you get your perfect placement, everything's fine. Then you can simply K mode everything by hitting the K key, which will lock you in that snap location. And you can just go side to side, up and down, and you can align everything up just right. Now what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that when the vault drops, it's going to clip into the main wall underneath it and part of the catwalk to protect the side of the base. But I don't want to push it too far over so that it clips into my room and kind of prevents me from building or placing anything. So you just got to absolutely make sure you get it right. And what I do is I actually look at the thatch ceilings to line up the angles, the sides. And I always t think to myself, the edge of that thatch ceiling is the very part of the wall that you're going to be touching. So I'm just going to place this down. Now that I've got where I wanted it to make it straight and flush, I'm just side stepping in K mode. And that will allow you to simply put the vault right next to the other vault, just right, and then you place it down. Since this is such a really small base, I only have to do two on this side and then three on the other sides. So I'm going to spin myself around. I'm going to put out the other two on this side and then we're going to go ahead and work on the next section of this base. So I've placed the other two directly opposite of these two and now we're going to build uh, some walls up and then we're going to place some more thatch ceilings above these vaults because this base is significantly small. When you have a larger one it tends to even out very well but since this is a very small one I have to make everything extremely compact and that means I'm just basically going to have to build another level and then put the vaults of the sides that don't have vaulted yet above and then drop them down onto the ones that are below because if you simply try to place them on the same level you're not going to be able to fit them together and this is where the key the magic happens because now you can drop this vault and clip it into the other vault which gives you a solid locking joint so it's a really really cool thing to try out um, it may take you a little practice, so I highly recommend you, if you are a builder of your tribe, just go on to your single place thing, spawn in a few things, and practice. Because the last thing you want to do is make sure, make your tribe mates angry for wasting materials that they probably helped farm. So, just make sure you guys line it all up perfectly, make sure it's lined up with the vaults below, make sure it's not too far in. Make sure it's flush and once you do that you can snap in your vault and then you can simply sidestep. Now I have gaps in this uh, scaffolding that I'm walking over because I'm in fly mode. So I highly recommend when you do these kind of scaffolding that you make sure you have your area flushed out all around so that you have plenty of room to move when you're in K mode and you don't have to break that K mode and you don't have to make an, an alignment issue happen. So now I'm going to go ahead, flip around. I'm going to do the vaults on the other side and then we're going to just drop them. So I'm finishing up the vaults here that will complete our wall vaults all around their base. But we have to remember also that there is going to be another part of this. This is the last part of it because I want to have an even 100,000 hit points on every single vault in the wall. So that's going to come out to about 2 vaults in each other so this is going to be the stepping point of which if you're on official or if you're on a low rate server this will be your final step and you can drop everything and you got yourself a nice vault wall but if you're on anything above i'm not going to go crazy like most of my videos for you guys because i want this to be as accessible to everyone i want everyone to be able to do this and it just takes a little extra grind to get those those um, those vaults out, but you're going to get it. So if we look at everything here, we have the vaults below, the vaults above, and then on this side, we have two vaults. So now we're just creating the vaults that are going to go in those vaults right there. So we're going to get to that right now, and then we're going to drop everything and take a look at it. I'm just placing the last vault of this, and there we go. So now if we look at everything... We're going to take a look back here and we're going to see that everything here is going to be two vaults in each other. It may look a lot more complex than it is, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to break this and then you'll be able to see exactly what I'm going for. 
So now that I've had everything lined up, I'm going to go ahead and destroy the center pillar on all of this. And now it's going to be completely lag fest for you guys. You might crash. But now if we go up and we look down, everything has collapsed in on itself. And once the debris goes away, you're going to see that everything from the top two floors are now aligned with everything on the second floor. So there we go. We just had clipping all everything clipped into each other on the sides and now you have the bottom one they're sitting on top of the vaults on the bottom one so everything's lined up we have the corners on both sides that are going to just kind of merge into each other hopefully um, sometimes this goes a little wonky so I highly recommend that you guys do a slightly bigger base than this so that you don't have to stagger everything like I have here but I'm going super small just so you guys see that it is possible Now, before we drop this, a very important part that some of you might make the awful mistake of doing is that you need to put a thatch ceiling above your door frame so that you can walk into your base and the vault that falls down is going to land on top of this thatch ceiling. So what you want to do is you want to bust down the health on this to a respectable uh, size. I'm going to bring this down just below 1000 so that if a rocket or a C4 hits it, it's going to break and my vaults will fly, fall down and lock in my base. Now before you do the final drop, make sure you go around, make sure all the turrets are active, all lined up, your electronics are all lined up, everything is peachy and then go ahead and destroy that last pillar on the inside or outside. I like to do inside because it makes everything easier and then now we're going to go check out what we've done. And there you have it. Once the debris clears up, you'll be able to get a nice grasp of what we did here. And everything seems to be relatively lined up nicely. It's all covering the, the walls, so it's going to take quite a bit of work for them to get in. Now, I highly recommend on buildings like this, as you can see, just the top still open and everything, is that you go another floor up. And the reason I tell you that is because the inside is going to be relatively small. This side, uh, you kind of want to just, if you know if the enemy gets in here, they've already gotten past your turrets, there's your electrical generator, they'll destroy it. But overall, you'll be a hatch from above and they'll have to either blow it up and get in there and go up. But I highly recommend you have two floors. Now, saying this, there is a great vulnerability on this base and that vulnerability right now, because it's so small, is the ceiling. We're going to work on the ceiling, make it more stronger, and we're also there's always the ability of actually just capping this off and putting four vaults on the ceiling. So that is always an option, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the easiest ceiling uh, solution that we can do right now, which is simply doing layered ceilings. With every layered ceilings, you have to put pillars on the layer below it so that you can pop a ceiling above it when the pillar pops through the roof. Now I'm just going along on the top of my vaults and I'm placing all the pillars down and then I'm going to jump out of this space and I'm going to seal off this little area that houses all the vaults. So the ceiling's been capped. Now we can go ahead and start working on getting that second layer of ceiling. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill up all of this layer, these layers and we're going to go about three up. Now I highly recommend you go ahead and you push it to five to ten layers because um, you want to kind of equate the amount of work that it takes someone to get into your ceilings from above to equal the amount of work it would take to get through the sides. So as long as it's equal in uh, amount of hit points, you shouldn't have an issue of people just simply going through your roof. Now, guaranteed, they're going to try it because it looks a lot more simpler than a vault wall. But then there's always the occasional person that sees a vault and thinks it's one vault. And that's, that is where you get to laugh your ass off in chat when they cannot get in. Because there's like 10 to 15 vaults 
in each other. Now, I highly recommend you guys always check the rules before you do this because there's a lot of admins I have personally encountered that consider this a glitch. There's a lot of players out there that consider this a glitch. But these are building mechanics for PvP, and if you're not trying hard enough, you're not playing PvP in my opinion. Now, I do not encourage breaking rules on servers. You should always follow the rules on servers, but I would highly recommend you ask the admin, and if he doesn't understand, direct him to my channel to check out what you mean, and then he can make a decision on if he deems that as appropriate or not. So I don't want you guys getting in trouble. I want you guys having fun playing this game. But always, you know, follow the server rules because these guys are paying for that server to be up and you're having a lot of fun on it. So the last thing you want to do is get booted off of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you some finishing beauty shots. But overall, this is a very simple small base as an example for what you can do on a small rate server. And you can always go crazy big and do it on a high rate server and that's going to involve a lot more dropping and I would highly recommend you go check out um, the PvP ultimate PvP base showcase build so go check that out it's all in high speed you can stop it slow it down whatever you got to do but that will show you what you can do on a large scale for a large high rate server so hope you guys enjoyed this again you know if you like the video hit the like button if you have anything to say just drop it down below and if you guys want to help me a lot, share this on any social media website that you deem appropriate because I want to get this out there. I want to see people building it. I want people to be a lot more fortified and defended so that when that person comes to raid you, they can't do it and they're going to cry about it and you can just hold it over them for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys had a blast. I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys later. Fight me, man! Fight me! Oh shit, Cosby! They didn't weigh you down! Let me go! Come up to me! Come up to me! Go! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Move! Go! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking scrubs! <laughs> the weapons in there.